Hello, hello, hello. We're making things, cards with pretty pattern paper. That's what we're making today. Lots and lots of pretty pattern paper cards today. But first, I have some more things to show you. So, welcome. It's Pip Tobman here from QueenPipCards.com and the Card Making Know How membership, where I help people go from beginner to confident card maker in four easy stages using my masterclasses. And we have such have I've just have, there. My words are not with me today because I've been so so busy this weekend, crafting away. <coughs> I feel like I've crafted nonstop since Friday. Um, we've had the paper party on this weekend, plus we've had a team event as well, Creativity Now. So we've been crafting um, during that as well. So I've just been card making all weekend long. Um, and I've got more to share with you today, which is cool. Hi, Melly. Happy Monday to you too. And uh, hi, Tracy. Uh, Trisha, rather. Sorry, Trisha. But nice to see you two here. Um, welcome to everybody. If you are joining me on uh, YouTube, that's great. You'll be able to see um, all of the comments from the lovely people on YouTube. Uh, if you're joining me from one of my membership, uh, either my membership group or my uh, free public Facebook group, then you will need to um, make sure that you are uh, connected to StreamYard so that they know who you are. So if you can um, if you can go there now, StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook from the Facebook group you're in, just click out to that. Uh, it's actually in the description in, in your Facebook group. Go and click that link and then it will take you off and come back and we will know who you are. Uh, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Nola. Hello. It's lovely to see you all. Look at that. We've got Europe. We've got the UK. We've got Australia. We don't have any of our US friends yet, but, you know, the, the, the morning is young for them. For them, it's only, I don't know, six o'clock in the morning or something ridiculous. So, um, oh, hi, Jane. Jane's working in between. She's watching in between working. So we won't tell anybody. <laughs> um, hi. Oh, we've got loads of people coming on. Excellent. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, we've got Orlando. Hello. Is that Faye? <laughs> That's um that's no phase in my Maryland. Who's in Orlando? Oh, I don't know who that could be. Hi, Jean. Yep, yeah, meet you again. I know we've been crafting together all weekend, haven't we? It's been such a lovely weekend. Um, so I'm gonna give a little bit of a rundown about paper party. I'm gonna show you my half of the projects. And remember, this is just half the projects that you get when you join us at Paper Party. So um we had such a good time. I've been live five times over the weekend. <laughs> Plus there was additional cards and bonuses and um, projects and all that kind of stuff. Hi, Cheryl, also working with me as a background. Lovely. I like that. OK, so let us flip over to this view and we'll put this light on a bit more. Whee! And we'll put this over here a little bit more. Oh, no, don't do that. That switches it off. Come on over here so we've got a bit more light on the proceedings lovely we'll turn that one up as well there we go hi julie uh excellent got um more from australia coming in and jackie hi 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 okay so i'm going to put that to one side for a minute because that's what we're going to do later i say later but in a minute ah oh, thank you that's lovely thanks jane best one oh <laughs> That's so nice. Um, yes, I'm going to be sending out information about the Christmas one shortly. So don't worry, it's coming. That's so cool. Thank you. Oh, we've got somebody new joining us. Gage, hello. Lovely to see you. Uh, Gage Gwyn, nice to see you from Orlando. It's lovely for you to be here. I'm so glad you've joined us. OK, so in front of me is this stack of stuff, cards. Um, and we made all of these in Paper Party or at least I made all of these and shared them with everybody. So Paper Party is all about um, enjoying the paper that comes in all of the catalogues that we have with Stampin' Up. It is absolutely 100% all about paper, um, all about enjoying and making cards with the paper that we get and, you know, showing new ways of, of doing stuff with the paper, new folds. So we had a couple of, this is a lovely fold. I love this one. Uh, you learn how to do this one in Paper Party. So that's cool. Uh, and it will be going up. You will be able to get an online only tutorial bonus, like uh, not bonus, but an online only version of Paper Party coming soon. This one, I think, is one of my favourites. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Elaine. Yes, we can see you. Um, so that's good. 
I love this one. Can you see the sparkle in that? Look at the sparkle in that paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hi, Joe. Um, we're just doing a recap of Paper Party. Um, and then we we all did, we all like, Katina and I take one um, part of the papers each, like one half the papers each um, to go through. I think this was one of my favourite ones I designed with the glorious gingham. Um, and then we did extra lives. Oh, that fish is upside down. That's no good, is it? He needs to be the right way up. Uh, and then I did a sneak peek of some new papers coming soon. Oh. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? Yes, I've used the Christmas word. It is twenty. It is six months to Christmas as of yesterday. Um, so you know, it's it's time to get your Christmas thoughts on. I'll be doing more of that in July, just to let you know. Just to let you know, because I know there's some of you out there who like a Christmas in July thing. So you know, we'll we'll try and accommodate you for that. So this is just my half. Oh, and then we did these three yesterday, which we're going to then continue on and finish today. So that was just my half of the cards that we did over the weekend. So you can see how much value you get from it. Uh, and if you were in the UK, it was £55 to come along and you get this half and then you get Katina's and you got all the papers as well. So I think everybody can agree that it is massive, massive value for money. Um And I think <laughs> and I love this. Look, look this paper party made me fall in love with the fish exactly right it's about just sharing all of the different papers and showing you how you can use them because sometimes you get papers in a catalog and you get them home and you go oh, i don't know what i'm going to do with that so this event is all about sharing our love of paper showing how that you how you can do stuff there was a bonus card class there was a card class from katina which is a one sheet wonder which i'm actually going to show you how to finish off those cards today um and yeah, just so much more. So many, so many videos. So it was very interactive. We had a great time chatting and bonding over fish and flying ducks. Um, so it was just a fantastic weekend. Really, really enjoyed the paper party. Loved everybody's comments. Loved everybody's creations. It's still open for everyone who's in the paper party. You can still go on and share. Um, and then the next one will come along before you know it. It's coming out in October. It's going to be the same month as my in-person retreat. This one was the month before my in-person retreat and it was hectic. So the next one's going to be hectic too. But um, we are still going to have fun with it. It's going to be fine. I'm going to prep it and plan it and be all organised. Uh, so it'll be lovely. And I'm looking forward to that one too. And the thing is, it'll be the week. I think it's going to be the weekend after we finish paper part. Um, the Christmas retreat so that'll have been done and gone and then I can concentrate the whole weekend on paper party so um that will be fine somewhere I've got a box to put all these in oh um but there was a couple of cards that I forgot to share with you of paper party so I'm going to keep them and I'll share with them another time because now I want to share the um share the rest of the one sheet wonder okay so I know we've been having some um We've been having some conversations in the group about One Sheet Wonders um, and what they are and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would explain that because they're great for using pattern paper. And I know sometimes using pattern paper can be tricky for people. So um, I want to, you know, just um, help you get over that fear of using pattern paper. But also if you love pattern paper, but you've got lots of it. I want you to use it. Use it, use it, use it. So <laughs> ah, let's have a look. We've got questions. Jane says, can you see me? Yes, I can see Jane. You're fine. Um, oh, my God. That soon I'm still doing anniversary stuff. That's for that's for Christmas in July. It's only for some people, Jane. If you don't want to take part in it, you don't have to watch it. That's fine. Um, it's just I know some people love Christmas in July. Thank you, Nola. That's so, um, so kind of you. Um, oh, we've got someone from South Ayrshire in Scotland. Hello. Nice to see you. Please tell us your name. It's lovely to see you. Um, afternoon, Sue. Good to see you too. And oh, your sneaker. We've got another sneaky. <laughs> I love these people. I love you people who watch me sneakily while working. Fantastic. Oh, thank you, Melly. That's so kind. So now I've given you a little bit of an appetizer about what we did at Paper Party and how we got completely creative with paper. Let's do some more. So the idea of a one sheet wonder is that you use one sheet 
and just one sheet of 12 by 12 or um, six by six. And then you chop it up and you use all the bits of paper on some cards to make some cards. OK, so I picked up which ones did I use here for this? I've used number 12, which I think was that one. No, it was that one. I used six, four and three. And I've no idea which ones they are, but they'll become clear soon. So I'm going to show you how the paper was chopped up. So this is one sheet from the delightfully eclectic paper mix. Um, and it really, it really is very eclectic. That's all I can really say about it. Um, there was lots and lots of different uh, patterns and stuff. I'll show, in fact, I'll get it out and I'll show it to you in a second. Right, let me just get these down. So that's number one. One, two, that's ten. Okay, so we must have used, so let me move these up a bit. So that's one, two. Um, so three would have been that piece, I think. Yeah, that's that piece. And then we used four, four and five on this card, I think. But I just flipped the paper over because on the back it's a nice pink stripe. So that was that card. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we used 12 on this big piece um, on this card down here. So you can see that I've literally just chopped my paper up into various sizes. If you get my emails, you will get these tomorrow as a bonus special. You'll get the layouts in both Imperial and Metric. So if you're using inches on a 12 by 12 and putting them on letter size card, it will work for you. And if you um, have done, um, if you're using 30 and a half by 30 and a half paper, which is also 12 by 12, we call it 12 by 12, but we're using, we work in, it in centimetres, then it will work on your metric size cards. Um, that you use with an A4 piece of cardstock to start with. OK, so now I've got all these pieces left. And now I want to make some cards with them. So I've made these three already. So you can see that I'm using I've picked out the three main colours in the cards. This is garden green. Uh, this is a bubble bath. And then this is fresh freesia. And the fresh freesia are inside the little you can see them inside the flowers there. It's also got this Cajun craze and also old olive, but I just decided to go with three colours because that's always a nice combination. If you do too many colours, it looks like you've just thrown your paint at, at the canvas, which can work for some people, but not necessarily in card making. OK, so this is where it gets interesting. Um, OK, Joe says, Design something new called a two sheet wonder to use up to cooking to cooking. OK, to use two sheets, I think you mean. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and it's Annette here from um, South Asia. Hello, Annette. Lovely. And Elaine's confused me. She's moved over to YouTube. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's fine, Elaine. You're allowed to do that and confuse me. All right. So the stamp sets that I'm going to be using mainly for these cards are no, not that one. This one, layering leaves, and this one, phrases for all. Because sometimes we've got big, big words that we want to use, and they're great for a busy pattern like this. And here, we've also got some big words. These are actually shown at 85%. So this is, this is bigger. This is a lot bigger than it is on the image, if you know what I mean. OK, um, so these work well, too. And also just like best wishes, sending hugs, thinking of you. Thank you so much for you. So happy to celebrate you. They're just brilliant words. And this does everything else. Happy birthday. Congrats. Thank you with all my heart. And it's got lovely little things like let's pop some bubbly, which I quite like that. And I know lots of friends who would love a, a card that said that. So I've chopped up a whole bunch of cardstock. So we've got card bases. I've got layers, although I'm not sure I'm going to use the Cajun craze, so we might need some more layers. Um, and I've got some spare cardstock here so that we can do that. I've pulled out some ribbon because it's ribbon month in the membership club. And we haven't really done very much about ribbon. Well, I have done. I've gone done lots of postings and stuff, but I haven't actually like shared some of my some of my ribbon stuff with everyone else. So I thought we'd bring some ribbon in. And as you can see, we've already used it just a little bit to give us two little flags at the end of this one. 
And then I die cut myself a whole bunch of pieces of labels, okay, because that way it makes it much quicker for me. I can just pull a label, work out which one's going to fit, um, and then make a card accordingly. All righty. So let's crack on. I'm just going to cut myself. I think I want some more garden green layers because they look they really do pop it nicely and I'm going to cut myself some white layers as well hey Danny nice to see you too hello thanks for popping in so I love a one sheet wonder you can add so many things on a one sheet wonder you can make them as simple or as complicated as you like you can step them up and like you know really go to town with die cuts on them and lots of fancy bits or you can just make them really, really simple. Oh, I think I've sat on that piece. There we go. That will have to be a smaller bit that we'll just use for other things. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to need four layers. Famous last words, but I don't think so. Okay. So, um, as I say, I'm just going to get some... Oh, where are we? I'm just going to get some more white paper because we... Might need some more white cardstock. I definitely want to cut a couple, just a couple of layers for this. And then we'll see how it looks. We might even go and lay it down. So this is just the basic layer, first layer on whatever size cardstock you use. If you have grabbed your newbie, um, if you've grabbed your newbie card making guide from me, then over the course of the week, you should have received um, a card sizing guide, which is really helpful because it works for inches and metric letter and imperial uh, and A4 card size. And it helps you with all the different sizes that you might have. OK, so let's start off. Let's start off with a green card base for now. And we can add more card bases depending then what I do is I look at the number of pieces on here and I decide which ones I want to use. So if I take the big chunky one, that's a big one. Look, that goes all the way from that to that. So that might look better if it's this way. Quite like that. And then we can put something coming over here, like maybe a label. Maybe we can map that label on another colour. We could put... Um, we could put a layer behind this so it's layered onto that that's quite nice could do some stamping on here if we wanted to and then if we matted that onto a green bigger one of these that would have a nice green label so this is how i start building up um building up things on my designs i look at it and i see how it's going to look and i'm sure most of you do exactly the same it's just a good way of working out how things go oh, actually maybe I want that side see and then this was the way where we get the decisions coming in actually I really like that that's going to be nice okay so we're going to go with this side oh someone's joined us almost forgot to join you as I'm continuing my cards from yesterday I'm very glad you're continuing your cards from yesterday I don't actually know who you are because StreamYard's done its funny thing again and it's not showing me who you are which is just typical um so it could be anyone, it could be Hannah, it could be who else might it be who's not already on here? Oh, just anybody. We've got masses of people from the group. I can't remember, my, my mind's gone blank. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to pop this down here, put this straight on. And I love using multi-purpose glue. Multi-purpose liquid glue, that's what we call it, stamping up. It's Tombow in any other language. But if you put Tombow in, they won't you won't find it. So you put in multi-purpose liquid glue and you'll find it. And I love it because it gives us a bit of look. Oh, it's Diane. Hello. There you go. See, it's Diane. Excellent. Cool. Oh, you're having a right weekend of it then, aren't you as well? That's fantastic. Okay, so that's that one. And then, I also said, I wanted that green bit. Good job I had a bit of green that was a bit dodgy in the corner because now I can use it to chop up a label. So the dies I'm using here, in case you're interested, are the Nested Essential dies. These are new out. Hello, Dimity. How are you? Oh, Joe's got to go for a two o'clock meeting. See you later, Joe. Um, so these are new out. 
and they are well they're just cool look at them great great labels and big the two as well some of them some of them are massive massive okay so i'm going to run this through my uh stamping cut and emboss which is just behind me so bear with me i'm gonna whiz over here oh i tell you it's so good since sean put this um put this desk in for me because it makes doing this so much easier for you guys means I can literally just whiz over and do that and come back again. <laughs> Hi, Bev is joining us as well. Hello. So you've missed all the paper party stuff. We've just gone through all the stuff we did with paper party. And I'm finishing off one of the one sheet wonders that we did during paper party. I'm finishing off all of the designs. Um, so you've come in at the right time. We're just about to do the next however many it turns into. Okay, so now we need a label, um, a sentiment that will fit that. So let's see what we got. Well, look at that. Thank you so much. Fits beautifully on there. So that's what we're going to go with. And I'm going to go with bubble bar so that we've got the two contrasting colours. Hey, Laura's here as well. How are you? Excellent. Now then, let's go going to stand up again so I can see straight above without trying to bash the microphone. Sorry about that. Now, you're going to have to get used to the fact that this is not going to be symmetrical necessarily because you can't get that in the middle and have it at the right angle, if you know what I mean. But that's OK. We can always add stuff to make that look better. So that's going to go on there. And I'm going to put it flat. Bev says she loves a one sheet wonder. Yes, me too. This was a doozy. So up in the group, you can see it done with, um, uh, what did she call it? Strawberry lemonade using the, um, oh, what's the one with the citrus fruit all over it? Um, that one. <laughs> uh, that's the one that we're, that, um, Katina did it with, and then I'm doing it with a different paper. So I think, I don't know, I think I want more pink showing on that side. I might just do a little fold over tuck. So, uh, fold over tuck. I mean, it, yeah, it's not going to fit all the way over there, so it's not going to be symmetrical. Okay, so for Donna and anyone else who's watching, Claire, who've got um, sight issues, let me just run through what I've done here. So I've done a garden green base, and I've done a basic white uh, layer, base layer. Then I've taken the piece uh, that I've labelled, I think it was number 10. So... I labelled all the pieces right to left on my design. So one, two, three, then the next line down, four, five, six, and then the next line down, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12. Uh, this is piece number 10. There we go. And I've taken that piece and I've added it to the basic white piece on the left-hand side. So it goes edge to edge to edge, all the way across that side uh, piece and covers it about two thirds of the way across. Okay, now I'm going to put a little, then I die cut out a green label. I don't know what shape this is. I need someone to tell me what the shape is of this. Um, but I've die cut out this triangular type, sort of double ended triangle with the tops chopped off piece. It's got a name, but I can't remember it um, in, in green. Then I've done a smaller one in white. And then I'm just tucking a little bit of pink ribbon with a silver trim to that. And then actually I might do this centrally. But, and then I'm putting the label centrally bang on the middle. So it's just got the pink showing, the ribbon showing over the white piece like that. Okay. Uh, Sweet Citrus. Thank you, Jane, for telling me the name of that one. Sweet Citrus. Yes. 
Uh, Nola says she's never done a one sheet wonder. Always wondered if she can give it a go. Well, there you are. Now you can. And Bev says she loves the pink ribbon. I also adore this pink ribbon because it's well, pink for a start. But the silver in it is lovely. And it's just a nice sort of shimmery ribbon. But it's very soft. You can put it into bows, you know, that don't... Um, that don't sag or go funny or stick up in weird ways. It just ties beautifully, which is always my, that's always my test of a, of a, of a ribbon. Every time I get a new ribbon, I look at it and I go, hmm, can I tie a bow with that? Will it tie nicely? And if it does, it meets my approval. And if it doesn't, and then, yeah, I won't be using it quite so much. Now, I'm being a bit OCD here after telling everyone not to be, but I'm lining that up. It's slightly not central. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so I've put it centrally and I've like lined it up within the two lines of the pink and white stripe. But the pink and white stripe is not actually straight lines. They're a bit wiggly, so you have to get used to that. OK, so that's that one. And I'm going to do gems at the end because I always do gems at the end. It's just a thing. I don't know why. I just I always do gems at the end. OK, let's grab the next card base. So see how you just... I'm just using the papers to determine what the card's going to look like. Um, and because they're already chopped, I need to come down a little bit. I'm too, there we go. That's a bit better. Um, it, it just, oops. Oh, look, I'm going all over the place. Sorry to make you feel sick. I'm just trying to get it into a position where I'm going to be stamping okay that you can see me. Yeah, all right. Um, Trisha says, how do you decide? How do I decide what? Uh, how do I decide what I'm, which pieces I'm going to use? It just depends on how, how I see them lying on the card. So I might look at this piece and go, okay, that, that goes in edge. That's another edge to edge. But what if I turn it this way? Can I do something with that? And then I've got like, chunky strips like those two are not quite the same none of these are the same size by the way so that's also another challenge so I could put those together see now that makes a nice card doesn't it see so I just do that <laughs> I just I just put them down and see what they look like and now I've decided that those look great on that but not on that color base card I don't think Right, I might just change the card base because I think it's just too pink. Oh, I don't know now, actually. I mean, yeah, it's nice, but actually maybe pink pink is good. And this is where I start to get a little bit of indecision going on, Trisha. So. OK, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it on pink. I'm going to use a white underlay and I'll show you for why. Because it's so much easier if you want to wrap some ribbon, if you actually attach this to a piece of card. So you might see it as wasting card, but actually it's not. Well, Sharon says she's never done a one sheet, but she's going to give it a go. That's good. So, Sharon, you get, you get my emails every week, don't you? Because if you do, you're going to get all of the measurements in there. And this is like a just a little taster of paper party, because honestly, the um, the the amount of value that's in paper party is unreal. So I'm going to be offering it out as a digital version. And you can then buy into that and get all of the. All of the card makes you'll see, see us making all the different cards. Uh, there's 12 PDF tutorials, like 12 card tutorials, plus a whole bunch of other inspiration, plus a, an extra card tutorial. And this one as a class for um, doing it with Sweet Citrus as well. Yeah, Bev, I knew you couldn't come to the actual event. Um, but having it as a as a, a buy on later is good. I think it's great. So I, I all my all of them are now up and running on my shop. So you can go and grab the last one if you didn't if you if you haven't attended any of them. 
you can go and get that one. And the other one will be up later this week. So next week I will be able to, well, later this week, I'll pop the link into the group and I will pop it out on my um, tutorial, on my uh, newsletter next week as well. So nobody will miss out. And then, of course, it will stay up there forever, or at least as long as my um as long as my website is live, which hopefully is going to be forever. You never know until I retire <laughs> when I'm 92 and still go up making. Right. There we go. So I've just added a bit of ribbon there. I'm wondering whether it would look better that way up now. Mm, no, I still think it looks better this way up. All righty. So we'll pop this on. Uh, does it depend where we live? No, everyone can buy into it, Nola, because it's all digital. So it's all online. You just won't get any papers. You have to use everything that you've got at home. Um, and you, you can buy the Stampin' Up! papers from someone local to you. Or if you want to, you can just substitute for any papers that are similar in your stash. I do not mind. You can do either. Uh, but the idea is that the inspiration is there for you to use the papers that are current. But if you are looking at older ones, you can use any papers that are around. Um, or you can just use your own stash as you wish. So I like, so happy to celebrate you. That fits nicely. What else fits nicely on this one? There's another one as well. Let's see, so this one fits on. Um, that one fits on, but I don't think, yeah, I'm not sure I'd put that on that card like that. You'd need something else with those words, like thank you. Um, so I think I'm going to go with this. So happy to celebrate you. And I'm going to pop that on in garden green so it'll stand out. And then that way can get this one done and I like these words because it doesn't matter if they're straight or not I mean obviously you don't want to do it like that but it can, you can just sort of put them down anyway and it's it's going to look nice no matter what so happy to celebrate you that could be anything couldn't it wedding card birthday card new promotion you know just so many different ideas and very simple. But sometimes simple's best. Now, you know me, no soggy middles. My friend Alyssa, who, by the way, will be videoing live again together this week, watched one of mine. She went, oh, my goodness, so many dimensionals. I'm like, yep, yeah, no soggy middles here. So I'm going to pop that right in the middle there. I can get that straight. Slightly concerning about my eyes, but I think, yeah, that's okay. There we go. So that's the next one. It's pretty, isn't it? It's come out all right. Next, <laughs> let's try another. Let's try for the lilac, the purple this time. This is fresh freesia. Okay, so what do we fancy here? So I've got a long piece. Now, I did one before, and I did... What did I do on that one? I did a long piece. And then, oh, I see. Yeah, that's right. So we could do this perhaps the other way around. How does that look? Maybe if we added a... See how that just brings the paper alive now? If we add another background i mean this one could almost fit centrally but it's not quite big enough so i like it there right so i'm just musing at the moment bear with while i muse i quite like that idea don't want it to go all the way across yeah, let's do that. OK, so I've picked up numbers nine and five, five and nine, uh, a green background. So I've gone for a fresh freesia card base, then a green base layer, 
garden green base layer. Then the long piece is going on the left hand side. And then I've flipped it, put the paper over and gone for the pink stripy side. And that's going to go straight to, uh, straight across that, but down at the bottom. That's what I like, down at the bottom. So not quite touching the bottom, just with a nice even border all the way around it like that. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to, you could emboss this like I've embossed it on this one. I've run that one through the embossing folder. So we could do the same with that. Shall I do the same with that? Maybe I will do this. Shall I, shall I emboss it? You, you guys decide. Meanwhile, Jean's saying she dreads to, dread to think what my dimensional bill comes to each month. I don't, I don't count it. Every time I put an order in and I've got like extra cash in the rewards, I just add a pack of dimensionals onto it. So, you know, like when you've got £2.50 left to spend of your, of your free spend, I just buy a pack of dimensionals on. Um, Oh, you like the cards, but you come in a bit late. That's fine. Don't worry. It's all on all on replay. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Beautiful cards, as always, someone says. That's lovely. So I think I am going to emboss this. And I think I'm going to go with... Oh, we've got so many decisions. So many decisions. But I want sort of a florally kind of thing. Or a brick wall. Oh. Maybe we could do the brick wall. Hmm. Maybe we could do the brick wall. Or uh, we've got floral pattern. It's quite nice. Metal plate. Or oh, I know what we've got. This is quite. This is a little florally. In the basics again, back to basics. Let's go back to the basics embossing folder because this one looks a bit florally, so that might like might work. Okay, so we'll pop this one. <laughs> Everyone's like, Yes, emboss it. Yes, okay, I'm embossing, I'm embossing. So we'll run that through. Right, so normally I start singing at this point, but I have to be careful. Because YouTube doesn't like me singing. It starts doing me for copyright. Not that I thought you could ever tell what those songs were when I was singing them, but, you know, apparently it can. Apparently, yeah, my singing is good enough to know what it is. So that's, you know, good in one way, bad in another. Right, here we go. So, see, now that's embossed with that florally kind of image it's pretty it's like star star flowers behind it's very nice um, where is it where does it live well there's that one i don't know where the other one's gone right oh no it's here oops i've just put it back in the wrong place oh no don't tidy it that way in the wrong place but keep them all together so we've now embossed that with a nice star pattern. So we'll pop that down onto our card base. Yeah, we all love a bit of embossing, Bev, don't we? I do think it gives us a bit of oomph. Right. So we'll pop that down there. Added a bit of oomph. It does shrink your cardstock slightly, so just be prepared for that. See, now I've got a little bit of a bigger gap up there, but I can live with that. That's OK. This is going to go on here. So this is the long piece going now on the left hand side. And I'm doing this piece flat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. It's it's a mystery, as they say. I'll stick that down there. Make sure that's stuck. OK, so now I've got my pink stripy piece that's going to come down on this bottom almost really at the middle you know so it's got a nice even border around all the sides and I think I will put that one down flat and then we'll just add I think I might put some leaves in with this one what do we think because we've got a bit of greenery going on I love the leaves We've got um, this stamp set here has got lots of different leaf types in it. So you can stamp them 
inside and outside and solid and plain. I quite like, oh, I've got leaves going everywhere. Hold on. Let's get these out. I like this one. And I like this one, which I've used. It's a solid one. And then there's this one, but this is, I think, that's just solid all over. I think that might be a bit too much. Then you can use one of the others and do a two-step and fill them in. So this will fill in fill in the, the colours in there if you want them to. And then we've got this little diddy one as well. This one's really cute. I like this one. Um, and then there's this one as well. Again, little cute things. And, they're, and they will cut out with the bow punch. So... Let's use some of those. Now, your, your your greenery doesn't have to be green. Just saying. So if you want to do pink little tufty pieces, do pink tufty pieces. If you want to do green leaves, do green leaves. If you want to do purple leaves, do purple leaves. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to keep that one out and... Possibly this one. I don't think I want the solid ones. I think it's too solid on a solid background. So I'll take those there. Get some of that white cardstock I said I had earlier. Now, if you look at the punch, you can see which way it punches. So we need strips to, to stamp this on this way around. So that it will go through. So they need to be lying down, basically, to go through the bow punch. And it's about, this is how I measure. <laughs> uh, it's about four centimetres that we need. Let's give us four and a half just to be on the safe side. And then the other bit will be spare. We can use that for the other one. So... Let's try some pink ones, shall we? Let's do definitely. Let's do some little um, floretti ones in pink and purple. Let's do some purple ones. And these go this way through the punch. So that's left to right or right to left, depending on which way you're looking at it. And then we'll do some pink. In this one. Oh, these are pretty, aren't they? Aren't they pretty? So pretty. Can you see? Can you? If I come really close, can you see that the detail on those? It's just really pretty. Okay. And then I will do some green. And I'll do green on this one. I'm sure you can see that. There we go. I'm sure you could do it so you don't use up so much cardstock, but I'm just doing it to be easy. And also, you don't want to get everything too close to your punch. The closer you are to your punch, the more... Like the closer you are to your edge and to lots of different cut pieces, the more chopped up it'll get and the more it'll jam your punch up. So just be careful about that. Trying to see where I am lined up. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. I'm gonna have I'm having to move it so I can see, sorry. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Can you still see what I'm doing? I'm lining it up. Oh, thanks, Laura. Laura says, don't forget to give Pip a thumbs up. Such a pretty card. That's very kind. Yes, all these kind of comments and likes and all that does make a difference, you know, um, for people finding me and finding 
out for the first time that it's actually quite easy to make cards and that they don't have to be frustrated, which is really my aim in life is to stop people feeling frustrated with card making. And also to make, you know, to help people feel proud of what they've done. Because so many people feel I'm not good enough, my cards aren't great, nobody likes my cards, you know, this, that and the other. And I tell you, I hate that. I love the fact that our groups are so supportive and, you know, so um, welcoming to everybody. And if you really want to, you know, if you really do want to learn, come and join me in the membership. That's the thing, because you'll get really detailed foundational understanding about how to make cards but if you want to wing it and go your own way do that too watch me on these classes you know do it do it yourself of course you can do it yourself the benefit of coming to the membership is that i've done it for you i've collated everything into a nice sensible way of learning so you're not learning things that actually are a little bit advanced for you at that point and then you get a little bit frustrated or you don't understand why something's not working because you don't understand the foundation of the reason behind it. So like design, design is, is all about learning the rules. And if you don't know the rules, then your designs are not normally that great. And once you know the rules then you can play with them and then you can, you know, make it your own and design them and get to the point where you're happy to just pick anything up and go for it. And that's a confident card maker. And that's what I try and help design and get, get you to. Um, yeah, see. That sounds like you. Sounds like you, that you're just all over the place and you don't know what you're, like people don't like, you're not confident that people like your stuff. Um, definitely I can help you with that. <laughs> uh, Laura says, I'd hate to cut those out by hand. Absolutely. Yeah, the punch is definitely worth it. You don't want to be cutting those out by hand. And Laura says, you may think some people don't like your cards, but then you will find out someone has saved every card you've ever sent them. Absolutely true. Yeah. Yeah, I bet they do. Oh, and Julie says she's been looking at that stamp set. It's such a pretty one. It is such a pretty stamp set. And the fact that it goes with so many things and has so many great sentiments in it, that's why I, I thought, oh, I've got to get that. Uh, and it was my friend Alison who actually, sh you know, showed it to me in the catalogue because there's so much in the catalogue. Sometimes you just don't notice. And she went, Have you, did you see that this works with the bow punch? And I was like, oh, I hadn't seen that. I hadn't spotted that. Fantastic. I need to get that stamp set. <laughs> So it's all Alison's fault that we're doing this. Um, no, it's not really. OK, so let's see what would fit nicely onto this. Oh, that would fit nicely onto that one. Look, and then we could do. then we could do sprays coming off of it, leaves coming off of it. <gasps> yes, look at that. See, that looks just adorable. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'll now describe what I'm doing. Uh, so I've got the little rounded cornered rectangle. And now I need to find a sentiment that fits as she looks around. I'm so sad that sending hugs does not fit on there. It's just, well, it might do actually. Oh, let's, let's try it, shall we? Let's try it. We're going to go garden green again because I think it needs to be... Mm, I could go fresh freezer actually. Could go fresh. Let's do fresh freezer. All right, we're going to try sending hugs. I'm going to need to breathe in and breathe out. Get this in the right position. So I'm going to lean over the lean over the desk. Oh, look! It will just. Oh, that's brilliant. Look, it fits. Oh, it fits. How gorgeous is that? Right. Okay. See, I can get happy about a stamp. <laughs> I am one of those people who can get happy about the stamp. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. OK. Oh, thank you, Trisha. Trisha's just said I'm very talented. Thank you very much. OK, so that's going to go there. Look, doesn't that look lovely? Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach the floral elements that I've just um, stamped and punched out. So we've got some green leaves and some little 
pink and purple. I don't know what you'd call them. They're like little tiny buds, I guess, like buds of some variety. And this is that, that wispy kind of stuff you get in floral decorations. I can't remember what it's called now. Gypsophila, something like that. Could be, could be the wrong word for that completely, but I'm going to go for it. Um, we're going to stick some seal, which is the dry tape, tape runner, across the corners. We're going to go top, left, bottom, right. OK. So when you turn that round, you're actually gluing on top, right, bottom, left. But just go with me. And then we're going to start from the front. OK, because that's what's going to be shown first. And so we'll put the little ones on first. Yeah. And then we can go for the, the leaves. And once you sort of know how it's going to look. You can re-angle it. You can turn it over and angle it so that the um, the front pieces are where you want them to be. And also you can just double check because this is coming into a corner. Like you can just double check it's not going to go off the side of the card. Because the worst the worst thing you can do is give somebody a card and the leaves are hanging off the edge so that when they stand it up it all goes all a bit crooked. That's not fun. That's not fun. It's okay if it comes off to the side, but not if it comes over across the bottom. Do you see what I mean? Uh, and if it comes across the side, then obviously you're going to have to make sure that you put it in a big enough envelope that it will cope with that movement outside the size of the card base. Uh, can I order without a catalogue? Yes, you can. Very easy. I love that. I love questions that are really easy. You can just hop onto the store, which is here, which is a bit small. Um, let's do that instead. Uh, Queenpipcards.com forward slash store. And then you can just order anything that you like. Um, and you can check out these items. So this is, so we've got the layering leaves. So you can just search for layering leaves or just put in leaves and you'll probably found it, find it. And this is the bow punch. And then the stamp set is called... Well, that's also this one is also layering leaves. The other one is phrases for all. And then these dies are the nested essentials. So, yeah, you can just hop on there, do that. That will take you through to my store and you can shop away. And if you order from me, you know, and try out my try out my um, customer service, then you'll find that you get lots of free tutorials from me as well every month, every time you order. If you order, like every month you order, you get free tutorials. So now I'm placing this entire piece with the leaves and the little sprigs and the sending hugs and everything centrally onto that stripy pink panel. And I think that's come out pretty good. Don't you think? That's pretty good. Um... <laughs> Breath in, breath out is the best piece of advice ever for stamping. Thank you. Maybe I should trademark that. <laughs> oh, Laura says it's lovely. Thank you. Um, and Linda says, good morning. Good morning, Linda. It's lovely to see you too. Oh, we've got loads of paper party people on today. It's so fun. So fun. I hope that you've had a good um, time if you were at paper party. I know some of you may not have been paper party this time, but I, I know you from paper party in the past. And so you're all paper partiers to me now. That's it. Forevermore. You're my, part of my paper party clan. <laughs> right. Where are we? Oh, we're getting on. OK. Times are moving. Um, oh, thanks, Sharon. Sharon says a beautiful card. Someone on Facebook says a lovely card. Thank you. That's very kind. OK. Let's rattle through the rest of these pieces then. So what have we got left? That's the way to look at it now. Now we've got three bits left. So you could make three cards. In fact, we might need to make three cards or these two are so similar in size. Could probably get away with them side by side. Or again, we could do this or we could do that or we could. Yeah, we could do this. That would work too. Um, and do like a thingy. I haven't layered any of these panels, right, which is weird for me because normally I like a bit of layering. Um, but 
it's been it's been a some of them have been too tight to layer and they look better if you don't layer them so it just depends on the one sheet wonder some one sheet wonders i do and everything gets a layer so they're all matted underneath with a different colored cardstock some are not and these ones are not because when you cut them to this size um they don't look so good so this one we could do this way this is like the triple panel layer card that i did the other week but i'm not going to i'm not going to layer it that's the difference so these are pieces 11 and 8 so now i'm doing a horizontal card landscape there's a piece that's going to go on the left actually maybe we should switch it around let's put that on the right hand side oh let's be reckless we'll do that on the right hand side and then we'll do oh, now now i'm starting to think okay so that's going to go on the right hand side and that just fits on there lovely i'm just going to pop that down before i before i lose that train of thought <laughs> unless i'm going to go that way and then that way oh that might be even nicer actually except that I'm going to put the label over on this side and I don't want to lose too many of the flowers. So no, we'll go flower side up on this side. I think the stripes kind of make a nice way of um, bordering a label, if you know what I mean. So this is now going on the right hand side in line with the edges. And then... I could I could put this one on this way round, like so. But I think it looks better that way. It gives more thing. And then I'm going to put a, a strip of vellum across the middle. Because you know me. Oh, I can find it. Where's my vellum gone? Yeah. Well, I had it yesterday. What did I do with it? Oh, maybe I'll put it down here. Yeah, here we go. Um, you know me, I like a bit of vellum when we can. Because I think that would either vellum on top of everything Ooh. or underneath. I'm thinking on, I actually like it on top, but it's a bit, it does cover quite a lot. So we might have to cut that down. Make it a bit smaller, I'm thinking. I'm going to take a swig of tea before that gets very cold. I had to get vellum in here somewhere, didn't I? A little bit of vellum. So I'm going to take that down to about... The best way of working out how big a piece you need is to put the other piece on, over the top of it. Yeah, that looks about right. So this is going to go down to about four centimetres. Now, you're not going to get all of the measurements for every single card that I've made um because that would be a massive class <laughs> putting all this stuff together but you can watch you if you get the measurements for the pieces and then you watch what i'm doing on the video then you'll be able to put the cards together because you'll be able to work out what sizes you need so let's do that oh yeah we could we could put that over the top of that okay and then that way Ooh, possibly oh I like that that's nice right okay I'm actually I'm going to put this underneath so I'm going to put a piece of vellum all the way across the card underneath in the middle like horizontally so I know this is going to be covered up so I can use my tape my dry tape here a good whack of that on there and that'll hold that in place in the middle like so there we go and then i'm going to layer the pink piece pink stripey piece on top of that sort of over a little bit more towards the left hand side and this piece i'm going to glue down so that's definitely going to cover over all the vellum really help to hold that in place Up there. so again leaving a kind of even border around that piece and then i've taken the banner 
stitched die, which is from the Essentials Nested Elements. That's going to go across like both the vellum and the pink stripey bit. And we're going to put our sentiment on there. And I like maybe best wishes. Or, oh, that's a nice thank you, isn't it? Let's do a thank you. And we'll do it in green again because then it will really stand out, I think, against the background. And we can put a bit more ribbon on this and maybe even some leaves. <laughs> Let's go for it. We've only got one more card to go. Okay. There we go. Nice. So that can go across there. And then I just took a few. It's either tucking leaves out. Oh, see, that looks nice, doesn't it? So I'm now tucking some leaves just out from the, the middle of the pointy bit, if that makes sense, on the left hand side. It just adds a little something to it. Oh, this dreadful noise is coming out from the front. I don't know what's going on in the front of the house. I'm hoping it's just deliberate removals men. There we go. Let's give this some good dimensionals. That one can hold that. In fact, I might just add another one to hold that lot in place. This, it'll, it'll hold it with the seal, but it just gives it a bit more oomph on this end where the leaves are going to be dangling. If you wanted to, you could add mini dimensionals to the leaves, but I quite like the idea of them dangling. Now I'm just going to hold that up so I can see where I'm going. There we go. I think that's about straight. There we go. Oh, you like this one a lot, huh, Julie? Julie says she's loving all these layouts, but in particular this layout. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of funky, isn't it, that one? Okay, last one. And it's got to be the last one because I actually don't have a card base. So we're just going to chop up some more of this. So we're going to make it a fresh freesia base because that's the card I've got on hand. <laughs> See, sometimes that's just how my designing works as well. What have you got on hand? You know, what have you got? Use what you've got. Then we'll go back and do some blink. Oh, hello. I didn't do that very well, did I? What's the state of that? Okay. I must have twisted the card as I was doing my scoring. That's how not to do your scoring. Right, there we go. That's a bit... No, that's off as well. Oh, maybe I cut it wrong in the first place, did I? Oh, yeah, I cut that really badly wrong. Okay. They'll go in my scraps bin to use for other things. In fact, I might do it as a layer. Let's go over here and see what we've got. Oh, or do I need to go and get some more? Okay, I've got a bubble bath. Let's use a bubble bath. I must have twisted it while I was cutting that. In this case, I think we've got enough space. We can probably do... Oh, it's because of my glue, I think. I'll probably do a layer as well. So what I might do is get that scrap stuff. Because at least one of these will be straight. You need to find which one's straight. And it's not that edge, so it must be this edge. So we'll do this as a layer. There we go. And then that way we have rescued that bit of card. See, never goes in the bin. <laughs> you can always use it. Oh, Annette says she really likes the thank you card as well. Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh, Sharon, you're so good at making something look, something so simple look amazing. Thank you. That's a very kind comment. Wow. Honestly, it's, it's practice. And knowing the rules that's all that's that's really all it is if anyone tells you differently unless somebody's actually 
No, that's still crooked. Look at it. Oh, I went really badly wrong on that one, didn't I? What did I do with my cardstock? <laughs> See, this is how not to make something look easy. That's definitely off. That's definitely on. So if I do this, that should now be straight. So if I do this, this should now be straight. Why is that not straight? Is that straight? Yes. No. Like this. Hmm. Please tell me that's going to be straight. She says, getting it on there. Oh, yes, that's straight. Whew. Thought my head was going mental then. I must have done something wrong on that one as well. Tell you, a weekend of crafting. Just whoosh. It all goes. Right. Um, yeah, where was I? What was I saying? I was going to say, unless you're actually, like, creating something from scratch and doing all of the, like, you're actually drawing something. I mean, people who can draw, I take my hat off to them. I used to be able to draw, but not anymore. Um, it's a skill that you can lose if you don't keep going. This one I'm going to mat just to be different. I think it needs a mat. So this one is because I think this one's square. Seven and a half by seven and a half. Yeah. Okay, so this one will be eight by eight. So um I think everything else can be taught. I think drawing can be taught, but some people have got a talent for it and other people haven't. Um and that's just like saying, you know, there are some people who are like master master craftsmen and some people who are joiner, journeymen, you know. Um, and I think if you want to learn something enough, you can find a way of doing that. And if you practice and put your hand in and, you know, do do the lessons, then anybody can learn how to design their own cards and make something beautiful from some really simple stuff. Now, I want this one to be this way up. So we're going to go bubble bath base, pink base, a fresh freesia layer, then a pink bubble bath layer, and then the card square in the top, on the tops, top half of the card. And then we'll see what sentiment we can fit underneath. See, now that looks nice, doesn't it? That will work. And what goes in with that? Or, ooh, or we could switch it out and just do a circle. But I, mm, I think, no, I think this one looks better. It's a nice shape, that. And that will fit. Congrats. Look at that. Smash them. We haven't used that one yet. And then we could put a little circle in the center of that. And we'll put some little, some little spriggy flower things coming out of that. And we'll pop a little flower image in the middle of that circle. So you can build on your layers to add something on top. Okay, so we'll do this and we'll do this one in garden green because we're going to use a colour for the flower. So we'll do congrats. There we go. Beautiful. And then I've got this little flower image that's not in any of the stamp sets I've talked about today, but it is in one of the ones we were using at Paper Party, Crafting With You. Um, well, crafting With You or For You? Crafting With You, I think, yes. Um, and it's this one. It's got all of the, the easel and the sewing and knitting and also the paint brushes and the die cutting machine and everything. So it's great for crafty people, but it's got this tiny little flower which is just a lovely size to put in the middle of one of these. There we go. So we'll just pop a little flower in the middle there. Nice. There we go. So I've just got a tiny circle die cut in white. Just added the little flower in fresh freesia. On the back of that, we'll put our seal again and we will then attach our little 
pink and purple frondy bits, as I'm calling them. There we go. Like so. Leave that to the side for a moment while we put all this lot together. So that's attached. Let's attach this. We could put this through the embossing folder, but I'm I'm running out of time. So we're <laughs> I've already had you for an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> And we've got to recap and give away a card and everything yet. So there's loads of stuff to be done. Right. Let's put this in there. <laughs> oh, good. See, some other people do measuring wrong as well sometimes. That's good. Trisha says she can't draw, but having said that, I need to try this myself. Good. Yes, give it a go. And Jean said, actually, that was really helpful. That was me getting all my cards stuck wrong. As now I know sometimes why I can't get things straight. It is cut, focusing on cutting cardstock well. Yes, it's absolutely the first cut is the essential one. And if that is wrong, everything else will be skew if. So I knew immediately what I must have done because I thought that's, it was either that the scoring was wrong or the cutting was wrong. And since we'd ruled out the scoring because both of them were wrong, it must have been the cutting. OK, so placing that square in the top half of the card. Then we'll put some dimensionals on the back of this little floral piece. And again, I'm using them to sort of double add strength to that glue hold of the little dangly bits. Frondy bits sounds better than dangly bits, doesn't it really? Uh, that's going to go in the centre of there, just about like so. Is that in the middle? Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll have more dimensionals down here to put the congrats on. I love these dimensionals just fit perfectly in all of their like different shapes. They're just brilliant. So if you want to buy anything, you can go online like I've just shown. Grab, grab anything of these online if you live in the UK, Ireland, Brussels, no, Belgium, Netherlands. France, Germany and Austria. There we go. There's a lot of people who can buy from me. Um, if you don't live in those countries, go on to my website anyway and go and change the country at the top and you will get a choice of a local demonstrator. Or if you want to work with somebody who I recommend, then let me know. I have several that I work with who are great, including Katina, who I do my paper parties with, Alyssa in Australia, Linda in Australia, Julie in the States, Tamara in Canada, you know, lots of different people. So just come and ask me. Uh, and of course, there's all the people that I work with in my tutorial collaboration as well. So, you know, it's not just it's not just about me. OK, so now and if you want to join the membership, then all the details for that is also in the um description of both this video on Facebook and on YouTube because that is um, great if you want to learn stuff. There's people on here who have learned things by being as part of the card making know-how and just this morning we got a lovely uh, testimonial from someone who said she joined the membership a year ago and made her very first card and she's just had her first paying commission for a card and she was just blown away by that. So and she's worked at her own pace. It could be quicker for you. It could be slower for you. It's just however quick you have or um, to work through or how much time you have to work through. Um, but she's just had a whale of a time. And so if you um, are interested in learning the foundational steps so that all of this becomes easy to you, because I'm not about follow me, just do my stuff, only do what I do. You have to follow me exactly. I'm much more about I want to teach you so you can do it yourself with whatever you've got at home. OK, that's not to say I won't recommend my Stampin' Up! products because I will because they're brilliant. But I do believe that you should be able to make cards yourself and not have to copy everybody else's unless you want to, unless you want to have a, you know, a. Uh, a nice time just not thinking and copying you can absolutely do that i do that sometimes too Alrighty. now we need to do the fun part and we need to bling it up um so let us do this i 
Hey, hi, Tracy. How are you? Nice that you could join us. We're just finishing off with some bling. Love a bit of bling, as you know. <laughs> you like the way I've done the thank you card. I think this is becoming everybody's favourite. I quite like it too. It's very nice. Just added a few extra touches to that one. This one's quite plain. Okay, so I've, you can use any any kind of combination of um, sequins and gems and all that. I've got three packets here. You know, just the three packets here that I've been playing with. So these are the neutrals. I love these like silvery ones. Then we've got these. These are the tinsel gem three pack. And I love these because they are fresh freesia. So they're going to go there nicely. And then this one is the adhesive back sequin trio. And I like the white ones, but also these these are actually berry burst, but they go really well as a pop of colour for these ones. So now let's do our blingy thing. So let's keep this one. Let's keep this one nice and neutral. And we'll just add a few sequins on here. I'll just put one down there. There we go. Just it only needs a couple, I think, just to sort of lift it and give it a bit of sparkle. You don't want too many, otherwise it looks like some kind of wedding that you might not want to go to, or you might want to go to, depending on you know one of those over the top crazy weddings. Okay. So now let's add some fresh freesia bubbles. I love them because they're tinselly. They've actually got bits of sparkle inside them. So they actually glisten. Like they've got like proper, proper bits of tinsel inside them. I don't know if you can see. Possibly, possibly not. But they've got little sequiny bits inside them. Okay, so I think that's enough on there. This one. Oh. This one's definitely calling for some of these, I feel. Sequins, use the pokey end. It's much, much easier. Put that one on there because there's a bit of a smudge. And then that one down there. I don't think we need more than that. I think that's lovely. That'll do. Okay. This one, I'm kind of thinking the white ones. These like mother of pearl ones would look nice on here of the vellum i think they'd go well with the vellum i might just do a couple extras on here and if you want you can use them to hold the vellum down always handy if you want to and i like just tucking them underneath just slightly so they're sort of there but they're a bit hidden kind of casually found I'll put that one just there like that. Yeah, that's nice. These are a bit three in a row, aren't they? Not sure about that. Might have to put one over here somewhere. I mean, I liked it there, but it's a bit too two in a row. Oh, maybe we'll hide it underneath. There we go. It's a bit less in a row. Mm. It's, I'm going to go have to go for some extras. And I know what I said, but, you know, sometimes needs must. You just need to make sure it doesn't look like it's too, it's like, all in one row. It just doesn't look good. There we go. That looks great. <laughs> um, so this one, Jackie, you're talking about the thank you card. So these words are from Phrases for All. So you get the big happy birthday, congrats, thank you, with all my heart. And then lots of little extra ones. And then Jane, for the so happy to celebrate you, comes from Layering Leaves. So you've got this one, best wishes, sending hugs, thanks so much for you and thinking of you. Plus, of course, oh, and hello. And, of course, all the um, those wigs as well. Right, so that gives us a total from one piece of paper. I could have added more ribbon, to be fair. But so we've got that one, the thank you that everybody really likes, the sending hugs, which I, I haven't done any sparkles on that one. Oh, I need to do sparkles on this one. Hold on. Hold your horses. We can't can't leave a card naked. I'm going to put some here. I'm just going to tuck them in in between the foliage. 
just put that little one down here on that. There we go. That's nice. So we've got the sending hugs. We've got the congrats. So happy to celebrate you. Thank you so much. And then here, some I did earlier. Oh, no, hang on. Then we've got this thank you as well, which we did today. So we did six cards today. And then we've got best wishes. No, we didn't do that. We did five cards today and we had thank you, best wishes and the big happy birthday, which I did yesterday. Hmm. Oh, is the punch out of stock? Oh, that's a shame. It'll come back. It's not it's not gone gone. It's just probably they haven't got any in the warehouse at the moment, Jane. So keep looking. The bow punch will be back. It's definitely in the catalogue. So I know it's not gone gone. Right, there you go. So, whew, chop it, chop it all up, chop it all up, enjoy it. Just mix and match your papers, see how you like it. Try and stick to a couple of colours because that helps. Oh, it's gone really, come on, lighten up, brighten up. Thank you, a little bit. Um, it just doesn't like them all spread out like that. So, um, have a, um, yeah, have a look on it's a bit too bright now. Just pick three colours that go with your papers. Um, I like to use a busy background if I'm using big stamps. And um, yeah, just play with it, really. That's that's the thing. So we need to pick a card. So don't go anywhere yet because we'll need to do that. So let me present this one. Here we go. Let's see. I'm going to give one of these away. It's that one, not tomorrow's one. And yes, I'm back tomorrow afternoon with um, Katina again with Stamping with Friends. And I'm back on Wednesday with Alyssa. Oof, it's a busy week this week. It's basically I will have crafted six days in a row online. Tracy came on late, win a card. That's the way to do it. <laughs> well done, Tracy. I will pop one in the post for you. I hope you like that, the one that I choose. It'll be one of these that comes to you. So, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards out of a sheet of paper, which is pretty good, really, isn't it? Considering you get like 12 sheets of paper in a pack. Sometimes you get bigger pads of 25, whatever. You can get a lot of cards out of one sheet. So uh, tomorrow is 4 p.m. in the UK time, and it is a recorded one, and then Wednesday is oh I need to just double check actually on Wednesday because I think I've got the time wrong so bear with me um but it will go in it, it's in the group so I think I've put it down as half an hour later than it should be <laughs> uh, it's time zones I never get time zones right so let's just see what I have got um what have I got at the moment and it'll be the other one did I put it in for half 11 and it should have been 11, I think. Hmm. Tomorrow. I don't know what time it is. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look. I'll let you know. But it's tomorrow. It'll be Wednesday morning. So it's either 11 or half 11. But I will do that. Um, so <laughs> thank you, Jackie. Stash Buster. Yeah, absolutely. You could get loads done with that, couldn't you? I reckon lots and lots and lots done. Um, thank you, Annette. Glad you liked it. So I'm here every week, this same time, same place, generally, unless I'm on holiday, but we haven't got any of those planned for a while now. Um, and as I say, if you if you really want to learn, come along and join the Card Making Know How um, membership. It's very easy. Uh, it's £15 a month or £40 over three months. And we're going to be taking deep dives into lots of different stuff. So next month, July is stamping. We're going to deep dive into stamping, all the things, all the things, all the to, all the techniques, all the things you can do with stamping. Um, we do a different one every month. And um, we've done two years worth now. Plus, I have masterclasses and little mini courses on all the foundation stuff. So you just follow each of the steps through and you learn everything you need to learn, including how to design everything for yourself. So... That's my membership. Um, if you've enjoyed this, I'd love to see yours. So go off, go and do it. Tomorrow you're going to get your um, layout 
and cutting guide if you get my emails already. Um, and if you don't, then sign up for Newbie and you'll get future tutorials that way. And yeah, I think that's about it for now. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I'm now in warm up for our online uh, in person retreat, which is happening in three weeks. Yay! Not next weekend, the weekend, no, three weekends from Saturday. Yay! Uh, can't wait for that. So have fun, enjoy. Um, yes, practice, practice, practice is also very good and very important, um, says Elaine. I agree. And patience, patience, and more patience. Yes, that's also true. Uh, but I think it helps if you've got people who can guide you. And the thing is that when you're in my membership, you can ask me live, real time questions um, because I I do an Ask Queen Pip hot seat every month for members only. So that's also really good. People can just literally go, what's wrong with this card? Or what do I need to do here? Or why isn't this working? And I can explain to them and help them. And between us, we give them some great ideas, not just me, but other members as well. So thank you um, to Julie. Thanks. Good night to you. Um, thanks, Tricia. Thanks, everybody, for watching. It's lovely to have you all here. And I will see you again, same time, same place next week. But if not, beforehand, tomorrow and Wednesday. OK, take care for now. Cheers. Bye.